I amused myself for a few moments by watching some of the push hands uh, in the master tapes back in the Sher Jung, in the back in the day. And uh, it really struck me the way the professor would be often, go, he'd go up to almost everybody and he would go like this. And he would take their arm and he would shake their arm like this. He's got one where I think he's with Lou, Lou Klein, and then he's like, you know, yeah, come on, yeah. Lou, loosen up, loosen up, loosen up. We want the arms to be soft, flexible, and responsive. The arm, put your arm more up. It should move <laughs> like that. Okay, maybe not quite like that. But, you know, in truth, you should feel me pressing on his shirt, on his cuff, and you already be responding. I don't even have to close. That's how light and nimble, nimble and responsive we want to be. If he comes in on me, and I'm just like this, you know, that's like putting up a sign with an arrow pointing center this way. <laughs> and giving you a handle to it. Like push on this. Pull on this. So we want to be very, very soft. Now, being soft doesn't mean you run away. We also need to stick. Right? Sticking, yielding, <coughs> following, staying connected. When I push in on you, if I feel the slightest hardness, you've given me something. And today I'm being very uh, charitable. Uh, but um, normal, well, I'm always doing charitable. <laughs> but if I find, you know, if I can find you, I can push you. Period. If I can find you, I can push you. Okay, maybe that's not true. But it's true enough. Don't let me find you. How do you keep me from finding you? Don't let me let four ounces build up. Are you not that more than four ounces? Be like a fly. Be like a fly? Be like a fly. You mean puke on my food? No, no, no. Be like a fly. Light. Be like a cloud. Be like, like a cloud. Yeah. When, when you're in like water, like <laughs> when you are in ward off, and that person puts their hands on you, they should feel like they're trying to grab a fistful of water. And if they can, if they grab you, if they find you in a very profound and fundamental way, you've already lost. It doesn't matter if you get pushed or don't get pushed or the other person gets pushed, you're lost. And not to be spoken of it, the same does it, does it work the other way that if, you, if they are, they give you a clue as to how they're coming at you, does that give you the advantage? I mean, if they're, if they're overt in the way that they're... If I can feel you, I know what's going on. If you come in with strength, if you come in with hardness, I know what's going on. If you resist with strength, if you resist with hardness, I know what's going on. Your job is to keep me befuddled. Be befuddled. Mm. Mm. I know the enemy. The enemy does not know me, Sun Tzu. Why? Why doesn't the enemy know me? I'm standing right here. It's like a Calvin, Calvin and Hobbes joke. Calvin's mother yells, Calvin, what are you doing? He says, I'm watching television. He says, oh, no, you're not. He says, yes, I am. So bring <laughs> <laughs>